Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott is a step-by-step -step guide on how to realize one's writing dreams as well as how to manage the life of a writer. Lamott's inspiring guide takes aspiring writers through the entire process of conceptualizing, drafting, and polishing a final piece. Through it all, Lamott is brutally honest but also brilliantly funny. This book is for anyone who has ever wondered what it is like to be a writer, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Lamott does not shy away from any of it, unpacking the life of the artist as well as the art of life. The title of the book comes from a memory Lamott has held onto her entire life. From when she was very young and her older brother was trying to write a report on birds for school. He had had three months to write the report, and it was now the night before it was due. Lamott and her family were out at their cabin in Bellinas, and she recalls her brother sitting at the kitchen table nearly in tears, surrounded by paper and pencils and piles of books about birds, paralyzed with fear about the seemingly insurmountable task ahead. She recalls her father sitting down beside her brother and putting an arm around his shoulder, before telling him to just take it bird by bird, advice that stuck with Lamott into adulthood and throughout her own career as a writer. Lamott begins bird by bird with an introduction that explains her own lifelong love of books and storytelling as well as her father's influence on her life and writing. Although she admits that growing up, she often wished that her father had a regular job, like other fathers, she came to realize that being a writer was the best job for him. She took inspiration in seeing him strive for the life he wanted in spite of the inevitable struggle, and eventually, she followed in his footsteps. From an early age, Lamont realized she had a way with words, and an uncanny ability to write engaging and humorous stories. Although she knew early on that she had a unique talent, this did not make her an instant success as a writer, which demonstrates that talent alone is not enough to secure a career based on the written word. When her father became ill and was diagnosed with brain cancer, she used the experience and the inspiration it provided to write about her family's struggles. Her father's agent accepted her manuscript, which was eventually published, and this marked the beginning of Lamott's career as a writer. In part one of the book, Lamott addresses the daunting task of beginning to write. She states that it is crucial for writers to strive to write at the same time every day in order to develop some kind of routine, and to give themselves short tasks rather than long ones that have the ability to overwhelm. She also talks about the importance of small details, and how these can serve as a jumping-off point for an entire narrative. Lamott encourages writers to give themselves permission to write imperfect first drafts, as this is crucial to the writing process. Writers must live with constant self-doubt and criticism yet find a way to push through those feelings if they are to produce any meaningful work. Lamott compares the process of writing to the slow development of a Polaroid picture. Characters must develop organically and over time. The process cannot be rushed, and writers should strive to love each of their characters. Each character should be identifiable in the way that they speak, strong dialogue is essential to any story. Part 2 discusses the importance of the writer as a citizen of the world. Lamott maintains that writers must remain aware of the world around them. One's writing should be driven by one's deepest beliefs, as this passion translates onto the page and makes for the best writing. She also asserts that jealousy is one of the worst traits a writer can possess. It is entirely counterproductive and should be avoided at all costs. In Part 3, Lamott emphasizes the importance of community in writing. She stresses that writers must be extremely discriminating with whom they choose to share their work, but also that another person's input is invaluable in the writing process. In Part 4, Lamott reminds readers that their writing can be a gift. She talks about how she uses writing in her own life to memorialize someone for whom she cares deeply, and how writing has helped her come to terms with her grief surrounding the deaths of her father as well as her close friend, Pam. She also asserts the importance of writing in one's own voice rather than mimicking that of another writer, and how it's essential not to shy away from detailing the more uncomfortable moments in one's life. In conclusion, Lamott, not able to imagine a better life than being a writer, takes great satisfaction in the work she produces. She states that writing helps her to understand the world around her and to love it in turn. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.